SpaceX has experienced enormous success in the space industry, developing technologies that for most of us seem to be out of the distant future and more suited as the destiny of science fiction writers. Despite some obstacles encountered in the early testing stages, Elon Musk created the largest spacecraft in history, Starship. But what exactly is this giant and on what journey did it embark in an effort to set a man on Mars as soon as possible? Welcome to Liftoff. As usual, we keep you updated with everything space and everything SpaceX. Today, we will show in details Elon Musk's Starship that will reach Mars. Starship is a heavy lift transportation system that SpaceX is developing to take 100 people or load 100 tons of cargo to the moon, Mars and other deep space destinations. The system was selected in April to assist NASA with its Artemis moon landing program, although the contract has been mired in controversy and is now on pause during a lawsuit. It has a total launch mass of over 6,613,867 pounds and employs supercooled liquid methane and liquid oxygen CH4 LOX as fuel. In the past, when a spacecraft needed to return to Earth, engineers used parachutes or designed the spacecraft's core so that it could land on a runway. SpaceX, on the other hand, took a different approach. When the constellation is ready to descend, it will enter the atmosphere at a 60 degree angle and then operate a kind of belly flop on Earth's surface in a horizontal position. This return method relies entirely on the atmosphere to slow the descent of the ship. As an added deceleration factor, four steel landing flaps are installed near the front and rear of the aircraft to control its descent. Instead of using carbon fiber, Musk claimed in 2019 that the spacecraft would be made of stainless steel since he obsessed with steel. Stainless steel is much cheaper than carbon fiber material, while the cost of carbon fiber in 2020 was almost more than $130,000 a ton. The cost of steel was only $25,000 a ton. Moreover, steel has other important advantages as well. Stainless steel handles heat far better than carbon composites do, and that's crucial for the reusable Starship and Super Heavy, both of which will be making many highly energetic trips through Earth's atmosphere, both up and down. While many people still think that steel is too heavy, this is a misconception. It is actually one of the lightest designs, and according to Musk, was the best construction solution. Originally, the Starship prototype used 301 stainless steel, which is a mixture of nickel, chromium and iron. This material is extremely resilient to corrosion and is much cheaper than carbon fiber in the way most spacecraft today think of it. This simply wasn't enough, considering that Musk's plans include about 1,000 launches and landings per year. The spacecraft needs to be as resilient as possible to sudden changes in temperature. Plus, the material plan for the engines installed on the ship has changed since 2019. The first was six reusable Raptor engines to consume metal locks, which are a mixture of methane and oxygen, the number of which will soon be increased to seven. It's also worth noting that the Raptor engines managed to reach a pressure of 269 bar a year record of the Russian RD-180 engine, capable of withstanding a pressure of 258 bar. Also, the physical dimensions of the Raptor are not much larger than SpaceX's Merlin engines, installed on the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. If this trend of gradual power growth continues, the Raptor will be revolutionary in space travel. The number of Raptor engines installed on the Super Heavy has also changed. Initially, 35 were installed, and then this number was reduced to 31. They have since increased again, but only to 37 locomotives. Not all of them will be deployed for each of the upcoming missions, but according to Kesturi himself, it would take at least 24 Raptors to send such a massive craft into space. In which the hero said that the round is not scary, the fangs are scary which refers to the appearance of the rocket created by its engineers. The head of SpaceX said that this is why the nose of the new Starship prototype of 2021 has become quite sharp. The Starship system's first prototype was the Starhopper, low-altitude vehicle, whose exterior appearance resembled a steel-tipped tank rather than an aerodynamic rocket. The last launch of the engine was 500 feet, thus progress is apparent. 
Subsequent prototypes include Mach 1, which was destroyed during the tank pressure test. Mach 2 was abandoned due to a new design. SN1 destroyed during the containment air tightness test. SN2 successful pressure test. SN3 destroyed during a pressure tank test. SN4 destroyed in a static fire test, although several previous models were successful. While SN5 and SN6 reached an altitude of 500 feet, thereby solidifying the success of the Starhopper. For SN7, it was purposefully destroyed during ground tests in order to collect data for subsequent test flights. SN8 flew into airspace and performed difficult maneuvers, such as flips, but failed to land successfully due to the fact that the engines could not provide sufficient thrust for a successful landing. This was caused by a low pressure in the methane tank. SpaceX then proceeded to test three more devices, SN9, SN10 and SN11. All of them stayed in the air for about six minutes. Nevertheless, all three experienced technical difficulties that led to either a fire or full explosion almost immediately after landing. The three prototypes that followed, SN12, SN13 and SN14, did not have time to prove themselves against any of the tests. SN12 was eliminated in the winter of 2020, and both SN13 and SN14 were also not completed. The SN15 then overcame the flaws of its predecessors, reaching 33,000 feet and then landing without a hitch except for a small fire at the base of the ship. The latest Starship model was officially recognized as the tallest rocket ever built in August 2021. By comparison, the Saturn V, NASA's largest rocket used in the Great Apollo missions of 1960s and 70s, stood at about 363 feet versus the Starship's 395 feet. SpaceX is hoping to launch its first orbital Starship test flight in the next few months from its Starbase facility in Texas, and a new video captures the company's work so far on the massive rocket. The 90-second montage, which SpaceX showed off on Twitter, offers views of the company's massive Starship spacecraft being wheeled to the launch pad, taking off, performing complex flips, and then landing safely on the ground. You also catch a glimpse of Earth from up high. Gateway to Mars, SpaceX wrote on its Twitter post, sharing the video on Saturday, October 23rd. A day earlier, SpaceX CEO and founder Elon Musk shared a stunning image of its Starship and Super Heavy booster, with the nearly full moon behind them at its Starbase site near Boca Chica in southern Texas. Starbase is under construction, Musk wrote. While the Starship is still under development, it's already broken at least one record. In August, when the spacecraft was stacked on top of its super heavy rocket for the first time, the stacked spacecraft was the tallest in the world at 395 feet tall. That's all for today, guys. I hope you liked the video. If you want to know what will come next, subscribe, like, and share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.